Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Mario 3 is static. No points, no coins. Yesterday was hell. Today should go by better. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but it's not gonna be Bama Palooza. So these square have a gimmick. Like, you can just go on them whenever you want, but sometimes they trigger a random encounter. Uh, there's three of them. I want this one. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Like, just like small. Um, but maybe if I bring a hit, like, you can just press a button and play them anyways, like, it's fine. Like, I thought about this one off-screen, because I knew it was coming over, and yeah, like, it is going to be extremely difficult. But I could bring hits from, like, just, like, from the many power-ups I have assembled. Wow, yeah, this is, uh, this is something. This is just a wall of hammer. Alright, like, okay, can make it here, fine. And there's him. Yo! I just made it, period. Did not expect that. Okay, I'm better at this game than I thought. <laughs> that was scary. That, okay, well, there's another one here. I'm activating it manually. Oh, this one has money. Can I just run off there? Maybe? Oh, that one's interesting. This one I might actually want to skip. Because, like, it's supposed to be, like, the bonus one. It's the one you don't mind getting. Okay. Okay, I think I have to skip that one. <laughs> like, or, like, bring a P-Switch or something. In which case, I, I might as well just skip it then. Talking realistically, and of course, now that the game realizes, they're like, oh no, you gotta do this, buddy. I'm gonna try and run underneath again. Yeah. See, there I made it, but then I fell off awkwardly. Hmm. No, see, that's what happens. Like, I, I get stopped, but then I fall. Alright, and this one is the one with the fish generator. It makes it very scary by virtue of a fish might leap out underneath me. Like, that's more scary than the fish themselves being, like, a thing to run into. It's that the fish very much wants to run onto me. But, you know, uh, this part was fine and I one-shot it. And now I have a respawn that's, like, right there, so I don't need to worry about potable pool anymore. Alright, fantastic. Here we go! Here's a childhood classic of difficulty, the fleet of tiny jet fighters. I guess it's what they are. Um, playing this aesthetic is going to be not very noticeably different than playing this normally. I guess the one difference is that I cannot, like, kill a rocky wrench. I didn't expect that I would bop you. Like, I thought you were safe and sound inside your little trunk there my friend, but I guess not. But yeah, like, this level is scary. For a long while, when I was a small child, this was one of those instant automatic P-Wing. I said, I said the right word! Instant automatic P-Wing. Like, just do not even try. Do not bother. How they came out of these, like, little... Dude, the same guy! <laughs> these little turrets. Like, that has to be it. There we go, I did it! I made it to the big ship with the big crate. Now, this whole fleet is to bring this one big crate to base. It's got Bowser's new movie... Whoa, home movie box. And, uh, it's looking forward to... Whoa, what? The jump didn't jump! This is scary. Like, uh, I'm so afraid of landing on the road and... Wow! Dude. Dude, how, 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 how? How did I do that? There I could land on his little stovepipe, no problem. But that guy there is very fragile. This is 
not, but there's a guy. There's like an identical jump right here, which is identical. That's why I said identical, except there's a guy. You can run across their little zones, no problem. It's jumping that's scary. Hey, we're at the end! Uh, look at that! Uh, whoa, watch out, it's Boom Boom in the NES version. Boom Boom here was like green. Probably just a palette thing, but he was green. That <laughs> was very different. See, this was just playing the level normally, except slightly more projectiles, and there's insta-death kill zones you need to actually make sure you don't land on. No problema... Congregria. I don't think that's a word. Whoa, there's a spotlight. I don't know what that means. Finally, 8-1. Oh, I won't be able to beat that small. Um, there's a place where you need to do a uh, bounce on a bullet bill, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, I'm, so I'm I'm pretty sure that if I bring, like, a leaf, or just, like, a tail of some kind, I'm going to be fine. There's a lot of... No, like, I kind of dig the leafy background. That's kind of weird, but it doesn't strike me as powerful an effect as just stark blackness all the time. I don't think I can do this part. I don't think I can just run and jump this part. Maybe though. I don't know. Like, if I... Uh, ah! Oh! What? Okay. Nonetheless, um, if I bring some kind of featheriness, it's gonna go a lot better. So, let's do that. I spent so many years combined together, just running back and forth here. So you can fly up, like, let's show off, or you can fly up here, and there's a bonus. You get three one-ups in there, and you know what? When you're playing this game as a kid, you're very happy when you find three one-ups that you can repeatedly get as you just get constantly murdered in this one level. This part is kinda harsh, not gonna lie. That was a coin. So this part gets possibly impossible if you're... Hmm. I'm gonna put a save here. Like, I've got plenty. I got plenty of, uh, opportunity- of, of, um, uh, of similar tools, like tanuki suits and whatnot, and I got, like, a handful of peace switches. Like, we are at the end game. We have been accumulating these for this part of the game explicitly. Because, see, when you go in this pipe, you end up in a bonus world. Whoa, three one up coming out of the square. You can have squares with multiple one. I can get one ups. Those are fine to get. And then you can slide down on your tail on this muddy grass place. And that gets us past the weird part to get us to a new weird part. So that I can do. So I'm just gonna let him fly. That's fine. Then he's gonna return, creating a lot of stress. Ah, boy, and now he's just gonna return again. This is working out pretty good. Uh, uh, now I'm just dead. Uh, I was hoping it. Ah, uh, shoot, dude! Maybe. Dude! Why am I just constantly missing the jump? Like, I keep undershooting it. Just very consistent in my undershooting it. And here, okay, no. Yeah, so that's the part where I thought you needed to bounce on a thing. Turns out you don't, and turns out it's all good. Turns out there's nothing scary. In the NES version, like these hills, I think they would just be outlines. Like, it just made such a good job of making everything spooky. This level has a huge shortcut. Um, I'm gonna try the level like normally first. Like, 
Let's see how this goes with all these turret, sand turret everywhere. And it's like, whoop, you land on this guy. He was just kind of chilling there, minding his own business, when suddenly the sun is attacking you. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of money here. So, let's not do this part. Let's show how you really beat this level. Like, I don't think I ever beat the level normally. I always use this sweet trick that doctors don't want you to know about. There's even like this custom like sandy version of that background. And you, oh shoot, there's a- I took the wrong choice! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. There's an actually another pipe in there. I forgot about that completely, entirely, and utterly. Uh, I'm not sure why I got like such an instant speed P dash sound effect there. Just having fun with the running animation. See, you end up here, which is much more peaceful. There's a power up in that square. I don't want it. And it brings you further in the level without the sun spawning. You, you, you just big old hill. I'm pretty sure this. Ah, uh, dude, really? It's only a leaf, like, you know, it's, it's a very good power-up, like, you want leaves, leaves are good. No, so y'all, oh, you can just jump over him. Okay, I think sometimes, like, the game wants you to slide, but I think there might be an enemy at the end. Okay, you don't need to bop that turtle, that turtle can be avoided. Here we go, here we go, and that's all there's to it. Oh, you need to take the shortcut, because if you do the normal ride, the sun is gonna follow you until the end and then be converted into points. So you have to take the sandy shortcut. It's not a choice. I think this level is impossible and the reason why I think you need to bring a cloud. Because, I mean, so it's a multi-path sort of maze, but the path I've always taken is one where you need to burst, you need to bust some bricks and like walk through the coins and stuff, but there are multiple pathways. See, normally like I go in that door, which I obviously can't do if I want to break bricks. And here I can't go beyond if I don't want to break bricks. Is one of these P switch? Yeah. And here I can just die. Like, I guess I can just L through those bricks and see, because normally this is when I would use a cloud, basically. Um... Let's take this. It's gonna give me hits without giving me any other, like, other influence. Like, most of the enemies you can find within are not flammable, so it's fine. I guess I can see if there's anything here useful. No, you're just on the other side of that. Like, you, you need a tail to break all these bricks. Yeah, it's not a P-switch. So... You don't have a choice. Whoops! I pressed the wrong button. Ah! Dang it! Alright. I'm through. New stuff. So yeah, let's see what happens. So basically the gimmick of this level is you have like the lava side and the block side and you know doors lead you to exciting discovery between both parallel adventures and then that happens. Man, there's something really uncomfortable about how that part works. What's in this door, anyways? Like, maybe I don't have to do a really gross jump. It's the end of a corridor, so... Ah! Like, why is everything so... DUDE! Wow, I did it! I made the jump! Normally, yeah, there's a star there. Like, normally I'd hit a P-switch somewhere and go through coins there. Things that are not part of my current curriculum, but I can go through here. Alright, you can duck, you know, that's very comforting. And then you go like, ah, oh, and the jump was weird. Fantastic. Man, alright, look. 
why? Why? Oh, more of the same. Maybe I should go in the, in the next door. Because I don't know, there's something about the physics of the of the rope that are super throwing me off something magical so yeah let's move ahead a little bit that's cute uh, i don't know like this looks dangerous let's keep going over here we got a road old us splitting or and that's the end of the path actually and then i got hit pointlessly so that's fun now i can get hit pointlessly here too ah oh, shoot there's nothing i can do here Oh, fuzzy pickles. Okay. All right, did it. Is it gonna be worth anything? Is that gonna be worth celebrating? No, whoa. Boo, you track so efficiently compared to what I'm used to. All right, so here we got this very action-based individual. I was hoping I remember it was the right one. So he's gonna come at me. Then that's gonna still be here. Now don't go in that door, go in this door. If you're thinking of doing an all frog suit run, this scene makes it impossible. Because when Mario cosplays a frog, he can't duck. So you're just gonna get teeth here, whether you want to or not. Hey, that's original. It's a boom, boom fight on... What? Wow, okay, he just was so angry in his rise from the floor that he just went ahead and did damage. You know what? Good for you, Boom Boom. Just fantastic, good for you, my friend. You're just doing the best in all the world. Uh, uh, Tomorrow, the nightmare continues, and then, like, Ca Bowser's castle is gonna be absolutely free. I haven't had to use a single P-Switch. All the levels that would require P-Switch, I could skip. That's interesting. I didn't expect that.